Hello, welcome to Artist Piano. My name is Katie. Can I help you? I want to talk to someone about my piano. Okay, I can definitely help you with that, sir. No, dear. I want to talk to a salesperson. Is there a salesperson available? That would be me, sir. I'm a salesperson. Well, then I want to talk to a piano tuner. No, sir. Our technicians are busy in the factory. I can help you. Okay, fine. I have recently acquired an antique piano. Okay. It's antique. Okay. I mean, I think it's very valuable. It's an antique. It's very old. I think it's a historic piece. Okay. I think there's a harp inside it. It's made of solid gold. I think this is a very valuable antique. I think you mean the cast iron plate. It's probably not made of solid gold. It's cast iron. No, I'm pretty sure it's gold. It's very old, very valuable. Okay, so how can I help you? I want to find out how much my piano is worth. I might want to sell it to you. Okay, we might be interested in buying your piano, but it would have to be a certain kind of piano. We're not able to buy most pianos. Well, you will want this one. It's very old, very valuable. It's an antique. Okay. Well, I'll need to know the brand name of your piano, the serial number, and when it was last tuned. Uh, I don't know if it was ever tuned. I just recently acquired the piano. Name brand. What is that? Where do I find the serial number? Every piano has a brand name. You can find it on the fallboard. The what? The fallboard. It's the part that falls over the keys and covers them. Oh, okay. I'll let my wife look for that. And what's the other thing you need, dear? I need to know the serial number. It stands on the cast iron plate near the tuning pins. The what now, dear? The tuning pins. Do you have a grand or an upright? I have an upright grand. Well, it's either a grand or an upright. It can't be both. Does it take up a lot of space and sit on three legs, or does it stand up against the wall? I told you, it's an upright grand. It sits up against the wall. Okay, so you have an upright. Yes, I have an upright grand. Uh oh, hold on. My wife is telling me the name and age of the piano. Okay. She says it's a Lester Betsy Ross Spinet from 1955. I told you it was historic. It must be very valuable. I'm sorry, sir, but we wouldn't be interested in buying that piano. You could try selling it privately on Craigslist. How much can I sell it for? Unfortunately, not very much. If you could get a hundred dollars for it, you'd be lucky. A hundred dollars? It's an antique. It's made of gold and it's historic. I'm very sorry, sir, but we can't take the piano, and just because a piano is old does not necessarily make it valuable. And there's no gold in it all. I promise there's no gold. Well, what if I just wanted to donate it to you? We still would not be interested in taking it. I'm sorry, sir. You mean you wouldn't take it if I were giving it away to you? Couldn't you break it down and use it for parts? No, sir. We really can't take your piano. I don't know what the world is coming to when you can't even give something away. Well, can't you come pick it up and take it away? Absolutely. We charge three hundred and forty-five dollars to dispose of pianos. I just want the damn thing out of my living room. Can't you give me a senior citizen discount? No, sir. I'm sorry. Can you take the piano away and let me pay ten dollars a week until I pay down the balance? No, sir. I'm sorry. Can I pay you in bingo chips? No. Magic beans? No. Well, what the hell can you do for me? I can give you the name and number of a company that would probably be interested in buying your piano. Their name is Firewood Piano, and their phone number is one eight hundred Hack Pianos. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure, sir.